Alrighty, what in the world is going on everyone? So today's video, we're fishing the jetty. Not in the boat today, decided I switch it up. And I don't have a lot of time today, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Started a little late today. I gotta work in a few hours, so I figured I'd just get some fishing in. But yeah, I got my pole right there. My squid, double drop leader as always. If you guys watch these videos, you know my setup already. The Marathon Night Centennial. But yeah, let's swing her out. Alrighty. So as I said before, we got our squid on there. We got a two ounce weight. And yeah, hopefully we'll get some fish today. Oh man, I gotta, hold on. This thing is all twisted up. That would have been a bad situation. Come on, I lip or the, whatever it's called. It's all bent. Alrighty. Now we're all straightened out, ready to go. Yeah, so the start of the jetty is over there. Just walk here. Um, there's numbers on the jetty. And this is uh, number 14. We're between uh, 14 and 15 today. Yeah, I thought it was a good spot because I could just pull it up right here if I happen to get something. Yeah, let's swing it on out. After fishing on the boat for the last few times, it feels weird fishing off the jetty or just standing and fishing. But it also feels good at the same time. So yeah, hopefully we get some bites. I didn't even check high tide or anything, I just came out. I live right across the street, so I can just come out whenever. Oh, and on the boat, I lost the end of my rod. Yeah, this rod has been through some stuff. But it's held up. $25 combo from Dick's Sporting Goods. Can't beat that. Show you a better look. Marathon Ice Centennial. It's a seven foot medium action pole. And then it's got the ice, the same, uh, it's a combo, so. It's got the Ice Centennial on the reel. A little dirty, but I mean, it's fishing equipment. It's not gonna stay in pristine condition. Yeah, I'll click it back on. Oh, I want to say uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel, guys, man. It's crazy. Last few days, I've like tripled my subscribers on this channel. Pretty awesome. Uh, as of right now, I just checked, it was like 195. So I'm almost at uh, 200. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, thanks for subscribing, and hope you guys keep enjoying these videos. Because I really enjoy making them, so. Yeah, thanks again for, uh, for watching my videos. Yeah, funny thing is, um, I brought my stickers out today, and I was gonna go put it on this uh, this pole, like the sign that was in the front of the jetty. Turns out, since last time I came here, they took the uh, took the sign out, so can't do that today. I'll probably find another sign or something to put it on. So I have a few of them with me. I have a hundred total, so I got a ton of these things. Got one in my car. Yeah, still not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Just trying to find something to do with them. I'm going to check my bait real quick. So I know with that uh, rock crab, you don't feel any bites or anything. Not that I want another one of those. My father-in-law, he uh, cooked it up and there was no meat on that thing. So, couldn't do anything with that. I have this app where it says uh, how deep it is. And I checked and it's only like four feet here, like directly in front of me. Where we were, uh, me and my dad, in that last video, we're all the way at the end of the jetty, in between where the two jetties uh, open for the harbor. And it was uh, 23 feet right there. So huge difference. That yeah, video is doing really well. Has uh, 100, over 120 views right now. Pretty awesome. When I first started this, man, I would get like five views and all that stuff. I thought it wasn't going to pan out. But so far, man, it's it's going pretty well. But like I said in my uh, previous videos, I'm not trying to do this to get famous or anything. I just love fishing, so I figured why not just record myself fishing. And if I catch anything, 
I have it on a video so I can watch it back. Or like uh, fishing with my dad. I can always look back on that. All the, the trips we had and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I recommend anybody starting a channel. Whatever you like doing, man, just start recording yourself. It's kind of awkward in the beginning when you're first talking, but you get used to it. And people start to look at you like you're talking to yourself, but it's all good. So I'm talking to plenty of people. There's something directly out there. I don't know what that was. Anyhow, I'll click it back on when I get a bite. Damn, there's something big on there. What in the world? Look at that rod bend. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Damn, dude. Look at that big ass ray. Let's see if I can get him out. Yeah? That's just huge. Yeah, hard to get him up. Just cut my hand. Yeah, it really broke off. <laughs> oh man, I don't want him to die though. <laughs> oh man. He's down there. Well, shit. This is gonna be a short video. Um, yeah, the ray got away. It was down there. Well, it didn't get away. I got it up. I just couldn't get it off the jetty. Holy crap, dude. I was just holding my pole and all of a sudden it took off. That thing was huge. Um, yeah, so I got it like, shit. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's like right here. And the line snapped off the, the reel or the rod, I mean. And I was gonna go down and go get it, but the waves took it away. Well, hopefully I got it on the GoPro. That was pretty awesome. By far the biggest fish I've caught in the jetty. That was pretty cool. Yeah, um, that was my only leader, so unfortunately, it's gonna be at the end of this video. It's gonna be a pretty short one. I got my finger pretty good. Some of was getting cut up by these fish, man. But it's worth it if you catch something. Whew, that was a rush, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, well if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching.